there's a new sheriff in town. Well, actually, it's the all new 2021 Ford F-150 police truck, officially called the police responder. And in this video, I have all the official specs and information and also video and images about this new truck. And it gets very unique features you cannot get on a regular civilian F-150, including higher top speed, several other items. So let's dig in right now. TFL Insider new Ford F-150 video series is brought to you by our friends at Five Star Tuning. These guys have been tuning Ford trucks for decades. They specialize in custom tunes that can boost power, increase efficiency, improve off-road capability, and the ultimate towing performance. Go to 5startuning.com, linked in the description below, and unlock the full potential of your truck or SUV right now. It's based on the fully redesigned 2021 F-150 crew cab short bed, and of course it's a 4x4. Under the hood of this new truck, a new police truck, is uh, the latest 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, the EcoBoost, but because it's a 2021 version of the engine, it's rated at 400 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. That's a lot of power. And it's made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. So now let's take a closer look at what capability this truck offers. So first of all, it includes a torque on demand transfer case, which allows the driver, in this case, a law enforcement officer, to um, use four wheel drive automatic mode. Four wheel automatic mode works in this way. It uh, usually on dry pavement, it's in two wheel drive mode, but it can automatically shift power forward uh, to the front wheels if the conditions require this. If you're on slippery pavement or off-road and in difficult, um, on difficult terrain. So that's pretty useful feature because you can leave it if you have those various conditions. You can leave it in four-wheel drive auto and let the truck and the transfer case uh, think for you as you're driving. So that's uh, also available, of course, on F-150, uh, more premium versions of the F-150 for civilian use, of course. Uh, and the version of that transfer case is also available on the Ford Raptor, at least the previous generation of the Ford Raptor as well. So that's that. Then Ford went um, to work on the tire package, also to enable this truck not to be only off-road worthy, but also have a higher top speed. So they teamed up with Goodyear Wrangler and came up with these new Enforcer tires. The new Enforcer tires allow this truck to reach a maximum speed of 120 miles per hour. Now that doesn't seem like very fast, but for a pickup truck it is fast. In 2020, a standard F-150 um, is actually limited to about 105 or 106 miles per hour from the factory. And it has to do with tires and also aerodynamics of the truck. So because these tires are special, these Enforcer tires from Wrangler, uh, the top speed can be actually boosted a little bit. And it's actually quicker than also the Ram TRX. The Ram TRX top speed is rated at 118 miles an hour. So for a pickup truck, this is quite quick. Of course, these tires are riding on 18 inch wheels um, and also offer, according to Ford, they should offer good on pavement performance um, during, you know, spirited driving or chasing and also off-road grip. I'm really curious how this works uh, because you're asking the tire to do quite a lot. And then of course, uh, because you're getting a pickup truck, you are getting a lot of interior volume and um, really good payload and towing capability. Ford says this is class leading capability for any police vehicle. Um, as far as uh, pursuit rated vehicles go. Uh, what does pursuit rating means? Well, I'll, I'll finish, um, I'll tell you in just a second. Uh, but let's just keep going a little bit further into what this F-150 is capable of and also how it compares against some of the other manufacturer trucks. So I already told you about power. Uh, let's mention uh, payload really quick. So 2,030 pounds of total payload capacity for a four-wheel drive crew cab truck, that's pretty competitive. And maximum towing capacity of 11,200 pounds. That's with a special max tow package. If you're not getting the maximum tow package on this police responder truck, 
your towing capacity will be 7,000 pounds. In either, either case, you can bring a lot of equipment, boats, a command center, um, horse trailers with you, and lots of equipment. So those are all good things. Then uh, fuel efficiency. Um, this truck is rated at 18 city, 23 highway, and 20 combined. So that's kind of a standard rating. And this police truck gets a 26 gallon fuel tank. So it does not have that huge uh, 36 gallon uh, capacity, but a 26 gallon um, uh, capacity, in fact. So next up, you go to the interior. It actually has a console delete option, uh, which means police departments can actually put their own equipment on there. Or you can have this kind of a, a metal console that you can mount additional equipment onto. Of course, there's a push bar in the front, sirens, lights, all those things are available. And then specially tuned shocks, um, also, also skid plates, and a rear differential locker because this truck is also based on the FX4 package. So you have off-road capability and toughness. Now let's talk a little bit more about what does it mean to be pursuit rated. Well, police departments actually have to test these vehicles before they're actually purchased and distributed to police departments across you know, different local areas, states, etc. And usually they're tested in a um, couple places. Uh, Los Angeles Police Department tests them and also Michigan State uh, Police uh, tests them. And this includes track testing, acceleration, they have to be able to run over curbs. And this F-150 uh, police responder truck has additional electronics where only on the police truck you can disable some of the collision warning system systems some of the driver assistance features can be actually disabled with a button only available on this police truck and i imagine this has to do with you know when you're chasing somebody and you're getting very close to them you don't want the truck to break for you you want the police officer to be able to control the truck in the most in the best way possible it also has this police engine run mode where a police officer can actually leave the truck running by pushing a button remove the key from the ignition, leave the vehicle safely, lock the vehicle, but still have the engine running in order to run communications equipment, maybe any additional cameras and or lights and sirens. So that's also available. Of course, let's just quickly go over what's available from the competition. Uh, by the way, this Ford truck will be available later this year. Uh, police departments will verify it, test it, again and of course we'll be able to order them uh, actually starting um, this week but of course ram has uh, ram 1500 special service vehicle this is based on the ram classic truck which is a previous generation of the ram pickup truck but it's a hemi powered v8 truck which is also meant for police service chevrolet has the silverado special service vehicle which also, well, it also it has a V8 engine. Um, it actually for 2020 model, it had a six speed automatic transmission, four wheel drive, and a lot of also tough equipment, you know, to be able to not only withstand pavement, uh, high intensity driving, but also off-roading. Um, and of course for 2021, there is also the Chevy Tahoe Police Pursuit vehicle. Um, it's not a pickup truck, but it's still a truck that offers a lot of volume, a V8 engine, 10-speed automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, um, and a lot of toughness built into it for police work. And uh, yeah, so, and also special equipment on the inside, obviously for additional equipment, sirens, lights, etc. So um, if you want a truck, a four-wheel drive vehicle with good clearance and good tires for the police uh, department, you have those options currently from General Motors, uh, Ram, and now Ford. But Ford always, um, you know, make sure they say that this is police pursuit rated, which means it passes all those tests, all the hard um, usage use cases, and of course offers all the capability I just talked about. So let me know what you think about this truck. Uh, would you like to maybe get a pursuit version when they go out of service in a few years uh, to get a very cool um, tough truck let me know in the comments below and of course go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world independent and honest 
Reviews. 